Well, then let's get into the age gap thing, though, because uh, what, what was the reason, by the way, you didn't want to have anything to do with Patrick Dempsey? He's too old for me. Too old for you. Okay. Same with you, Melissa? Yeah. Too old, and you're how old? Um, 19. 19, yeah. Okay. You're how old? I'm 25. Okay. The age isn't a problem for me. I'm 28. Okay. Two reasons. He's a libtard, and uh, he's about 13, 15 years, not 15 years, probably 13 years, 10 years too old to ride this ride. Oh, God. All right, well, then let's talk about age <laughs> gaps. Okay. <laughs> ride this ride. Must be this tall to ride this ride. Right. Okay, player. Gotcha. Um, so, Malik, pull up this article real quick about age gaps. I don't know if you have that available. So they break down the different age gaps of what women are interested in. I'm sure you've done multiple, multiple oh, episodes I, I on this. I got essays galore. Okay, so Malik, let me know when you have that. So basically, this article talks about the, uh, the best age difference for a successful marriage, okay? What is the best age difference for a successful marriage? All right, we don't, we don't read that. So they give basically four different brackets, and I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Um, age gaps work differently for different couples. For some, it's closer to the same age, basically same age to about three years. Then they say that there's the five to seven year age gap, mm -hmm. which basically there's fewer clashes, there's less misunderstandings and arguments. Uh, then there's the 10 year age gap, which is sort of my wheelhouse. Um, they, have, uh, they have different life goals, let's say, different ambitions and perspectives aligned together. However, it can be a little bit stretchy at times. Some, sometimes the younger partner won't stand up to the older partner's maturity level and create a lot of issues. That's what this article says. Then there's the big one. Michael could talk about this. The old 20-year yeah. age gap. The good all stuff. All right, all right, uh, all And right. they say this article, not my opinion, Michael, uh, that ideally this is not the best age gap for couples, that it will be a huge shift in goals, ambitions, opinions, and mentality. The biggest of all being wanting children while the older spouse, which is you in this case, sir, may want to have children ASAP, or the younger one may not be ready on this opportunity. So it's not an issue for us. <laughs> not an issue. So we're, we're at, it's funny because I'm 46 and she's 21. We're at the exact same spot. Really? Yeah. Break that down. Uh, like shoot, where where? So 46, a, 21. There's a 25 year age gap. Yeah. So a couple years, we both would like to have children. Like maybe that that's what we we would consider when we discuss it. Yeah. Okay. For sure. It's, it's, the irony is, like, I listen to more hip hop than her. I'm in the gym just as much as she. Like, the things that are supposed to be the age difference between yeah. me being 46 <laughs> and her being 21, we just don't have. I'm on TikTok more than she is. So it's like, it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Like the, That's how the, you knew it was meant to be. Well, no, the, no, the, well, the, the issue I'm trying to make is those yeah. stereotypical the differences between yeah. the decrepit 46-year-old man yeah. and the 21-year-old girl. They don't. You, girl, you Three of you know my girlfriend. They just don't happen with us. We're, we're actually Yeah, well, I mean, common. to your credit, brother, you're smart, you're capable, you're a stud, you know everybody in Vegas. Like, you look great, you look great. You're like, it's not like, when I think of 46 and when girls think of 46, you don't necessarily think of Michael Sartain out there, okay? Well, so, what's, the, what's the age difference between, like, say, Chris Evans and the, his new wife that they he just got? Who's Chris Evans? The actor? Yeah, the actor. Yeah, Captain America. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, there's it was just these girls didn't just, know who the sexiest man alive was. Give well, me he just credit. he just got married, and I think yeah. he's in his forties. I think she's like in her late twenties or something. And, and people you see were a problem with outraged. that? At all, no, I don't no? see a problem with it at all. But okay. I, I, but anytime there's like a, even like a seven to ten year age difference between the two, women lose their minds. Because the guys, it's like robbing the cradle or something right there. And statistically speaking, women tend to go for guys who are between three to seven years older than they are, simply okay. because it takes longer for a man to mature into his peak potential. Mm -hmm. So, and also, I should say that that is starting to get a little bit further out now because there's so many guys who just aren't, don't look like they're going to reach their peak potential. And so yeah. women tend to share the guys who are a little bit more made men, right? They're the guys who are already in their 30s or maybe even getting into their 40s or something yeah. like that. When and you they say have, shared the guys, what do you well, mean? Well, share, share them in the sense whether they know that they are or they don't. It's not, it's not like I didn't say it's willing. I said, you know, that yeah. maybe it's just something you don't talk about. But there's, they are the guys who are the, you know, for lack of a better term, alpha males, high value guys that are exceedingly more and more rare. And so rather than uh, keep you know, spinning their wheels, they are at least more willing to share that guy or don't know that they are and don't ask questions whether or not they're, they're in a What's sort of non-exclusive. What's the age gap difference between you and your wife? Uh, three years. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're three years older than mm -hmm. her. Yeah. Okay, and, and dude, you wrote The Rational Mail. You're like the expert on this subject. Mm -hmm. how, how aware were you of age differences when you got married? Uh, I wasn't even thinking about it because remember I got married when I was like 28. So. Gotcha. But your daughter yeah. just got married. She did. She got married Congratulations. In, in August. In August. Congratulations. Yeah. What's their age yeah. difference? Uh, about one year. One year. 
maybe two, maybe one and a half. I think. What did you tell your daughter about age differences that oh, she should be aware really, of? We didn't really have that discussion. It was more about the guy or anything else. You just judge his character, not Yeah, yeah. Kind of okay. again, I mean, I'm Roald Tomasi. She's my daughter, right? I'm yeah. going to definitely be a little bit more discerning, let's just say. As you should be. What was the main conversation like? What would you say was like something that you told him? It was like... Oh, you gosh. Know, uh, you yeah, see these guns right here? You know? no, well, it wasn't so much that. I know everybody says, oh, yeah, you, it's like, uh, you know, if you, if you ever hurt her, I'll beat the shit. That's yeah. already established okay right. like so there's not gonna like yeah. we don't have to have that conversation because that is already implied and the fact gotcha. that i'm allowing you to date my daughter in the first place it, it was more about like what do you want for the future what do you want mm. to do yeah um can you defeat me in single combat <laughs> no, it's, it's, it, it was more about it was more i kept i kept saying you know okay. uh, i had to explain to him like what being married is about because it's not just two people coming together it's not just my my daughter mm -hmm. and her, her now husband coming together it's her family my daughter's family us and his family coming together and yeah. then any potential children that are a result of that marriage then now we're grandchildren and now we and you got to remember that it's not just two people that are coming together it's like two clans two yes. families that are coming together unite so, the clans well yeah exactly in that movie I hate, I hate Braveheart yeah. but, um, but so but, but that's a good good example because yeah. there was a reason why a man and he did this that one of the reasons I, I have respect for him is he asked me for permission to marry my daughter. Respect. And again, that sounds like very romantic and, and chivalrous no, and stuff. Sweet. It's like, no, there's actually a function to that. Mm -hmm. Because, and this is, we want to know why I told him. This is what I told him. I yeah. said, there's a function to that. There's a, a purpose for that. It seems like really something in Braveheart or something in a romantic comedy kind of thing. But there was a necessity for one man to say, I want to marry your daughter. What he's saying is, I want to unite our families together, and I want any future children here, so you are, we are all of one sort of clan hmm. uh, because of this union. Right. Sterling, you're, uh, you know, you're an eligible uh, bachelor. Go on. No, I mean, mm -hmm. you're an I was thinking of the appropriate words, eligible bachelor. Uh, are you 40 yet? 36. 36. My apologies, bro. I'm just, you know, you roll with, you know, the... Um, what's an ideal age difference for you, for you to actually settle down? Do you want to get married one day yeah. or no? Yeah. What's uh, the ideal? Bi biblically married, not, biblically. Uh, not gotcha. governmentally married. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. What's an ideal age gap for you? Um, I'm looking for women who are like 24 or younger. 20, why that specific number? Because I f just think there's less brainwashing, less programming. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to be with a woman who's, typically I wouldn't want to be with a woman who's been to university and been brainwashed by like liberalism in university. Gotcha. There's a lot of different criteria. Hey, listen, uh, college education used to be a great thing. Now it's turning out to Not be... So Hey, I, uh, just, I just realized thorn. he's Go 36 ahead. and I'm 46 and he's 56. I just realized that. No, 55, oh. dude. Don't, oh, don't get me there yet. Okay. Bro, you're about, about to six more months out the door. <laughs> you were about to add one more thing. No, no. no I was no. just, I, just what he was saying before with the, the, uh, the age difference thing. Uh, it's really interesting because, again, uh, the evolution of desire, one of the things they talk about is in all these different societies, they, they go over these 37 different cultures that they measure. And men, as they climb the socioeconomic ladder in every one of these cultures, the difference in age between the husband and wife increases mm -hmm. in every culture. So that means if you get higher up the socioeconomic status, if you're Yanomamo Indians or you're Aboriginal or you're from Norway or Mexico or whatever, as those men get richer, the difference in age between they and their wives increases. And why do you think mm -hmm. that is? Uh, just because men want uh, a longer, re you know, reproductive career. I mean, that's the evolutionary career. answer. Obviously, the answer yeah. is young, hot women look hot. But like, yeah. I mean, that's such a basic answer. Oh, by the way, uh, the con the contrary is not true. As women make more money, they want richer husbands. It's like it's funny because you would think as women make more money, they yeah. would be, have less necessity for a man to make more money. So they just pick some big dumb stud. Well, that would there. be hypergamy, right? Right. right, well, right it right. also it also yeah. takes longer for a man to mature into his peak potential. No so it's like you know they always say you know a guy doesn't a man doesn't become a man until he's thirty. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, in my first book, I peg it at about 34 to 38, somewhere like 36. So dude, average, you're, you're about to be a man, Sterling. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> right now. You, you, and, and by the way, there'll be other, there's other surveys yeah. that say it's even later than that. But I, back in the day, I, I pegged it right about that. That's when guys tend to like make partner in the law firm. They, they're a surgeon or they, mm -hmm. they have created their business and they have proven their worth and they are better judges of character. They have, they understand a little bit more about like who they are and what, what, uh, how other people are as well. And I think that on some sort of like a uh, hindbrain level uh, from as old as like five years old, like little girls understand that it takes longer for, it, it actually takes women, they're faster maturing physically mm -hmm. than it does for guys. And I think there's sort of an analogy to that, like for sort of, uh, you know, psychologically as well. So when you look at the average age of first marriage here in the United States, it's like 32 for men and it's 30 for women right now. 
thank you, uh, Jim Sexton, for updating me on those ages. 32 but, and yeah, 30. 32 and 30. Where was it 20 right years now. ago? Uh, probably about like 19 and 22, something. 30. In the 60s, it was like 19 and 22. Wow. So, Ladies, you got some but still, catching up but, to still, do. but you notice there's still like that two year difference, three year difference God, between sure. the two. But back to, back to your point, and then I want to get the ladies' way on this. You said that as guys climb up the socioeconomic ladder, yes. they will date. Younger girls, or yes. they just so the difference in age increases. Yes. Gotcha. Right. So, like a different age, younger girls. Uh, we just saw uh, what's his name? Is it Al Pacino? Just he's eighty three. Eighty three. Yeah. Had a baby with a yeah. twenty nine year old yeah. woman. So, like that's still like that's yeah. young, but like uh, the f f when I talk to women about this, they're like, once you get above 25, 26, kind of all bets are off. It's not yeah. weird if you're twenty six dating a thirty five year old man or forty five yeah. year old man, but I think. Where people have an issue is 18, 19, 20 yes. dating a 55. You know what they call this, by the way, this whole thing. It's Successful called the married. I'm sorry, what? That too, the McConaughey effect. The, McConaughey. the old, yeah. the yeah. old they I get older and they stay the same when age, I, all right. When all I get right, asked this I question, one of, the, one of the answers I give is Aristotle, the Aristotle. He was asked, what's the best age for men and women to marry? And he said, 18 for women and 36 for men. Wow. As far back as Aristotle's time. This yes. was in the Greek? Yes, and it was because that guy is, like I said, entering into his is like peak potential. He is a, a made man, and that woman is now 18, and she's now young, fertile, and she's uh, approaching the best years of her. Well, life. look, we just heard from Rolo, Sterling, and Michael, and Aristotle, apparently. Apparently, yeah. But now let's hear from the ladies. So uh, red and green, all right, hold them up, guys, real quick, and let's just kind of keep it simple. Uh, yes or no, yes, you would, no, you wouldn't, date someone, ser or marry someone seriously 10 years older than you. Hold them up. Wait. Do you guys know how to use things? There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Whoa, you yes, wanted Patrick Dempsey no, yeah. and you wouldn't do 10 years? Wait, okay. What? Because it's Patrick Dempsey. I'm so confused. Yeah. So, Jasmine, uh, we're going like to pick on you for a second. I don't like older men. But you would take down Patrick Dempsey, who's 57. I don't, you, you didn't, you said. I'd marry him. Right. Okay. Yeah. Marry so the, the difference is the marriage. That's the reason yeah, why. Yeah. Spend the rest term. of my life. Okay. With him. I did not yeah. expect that answer. Okay. So because you're the sort of the, the anomaly right now, everyone said yes. You're the not only again. one that said no. Yeah. Mm. See, this okay. is the beauty of like holding him up, and I can see. Uh, how old are you? Are you thirty yet? Yeah. You're thirty. How old? I'm over thirty. Okay, you're over thirty. So why wouldn't you marry a guy ten years older than you? Um, so if you're I 30, would, I would. It just is really st like circumstantial. Like I, I just find if they're also like you said, like set in their ways. I typically date younger. Um, you date younger guys, mm -hmm. younger than you, or younger yeah. and younger, younger than you. Younger than me. Hmm. How much younger than? You? <laughs> Ten years. I mean, I the want, last, the last one was like seventeen show. years younger. I want a reality show. Seventeen years younger. So, yo, no, I want a reality I mean, show on this now. I want a reality <laughs> show. She would take down Dempsey. She wants men who are younger. Yeah. She's going to acting class. I want all of this. You I can want just this watch on the show. Like you clinically <laughs> diagnose what's happening right now. <laughs> uh, no, I, I can't. Look, you're in you're five standard deviations outside the norm. Hey, come on our show. We want you to come yeah. to Vegas. Come, okay. come hang out with us. Why, the yeah. last guy you dated was seventeen years younger. By the way, show of hands. Not How many of you girls would okay, date a guy yeah, significantly <laughs> younger than you? <laughs> no. Maya. Okay, so, <laughs> so you're totally different. Why, the, no why do you prefer younger, younger than guys than older guys? Not for that long. Because everyone just else wants an just older for, guy. Just for a little while. I don't know. I find them more attractive. And I don't know. I Enthusiastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Someone's getting a little excited out here. Okay. Yeah. 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 She just yeah. broke someone's penis. Yeah. Yeah. You see this? But 17 years younger, I've never really... Okay, that so if you're 35, yeah, it's, he's 18? What just happened 19. here? 19. Yeah. He doesn't even know what's going on yet. <laughs> I didn't. He lied about oh, his age. Trust me. He knows. How old did he, he say he was? He said he was 25. He watches this kind of porn all the time. But even He's if he's 10 years younger than you. I have no idea what life's about 18 years old. How about your last serious relationship? What was the age, age difference? He was four, four years younger. So you just got a fetish. That's just the thing. I don't need to figure this thing out. You like younger guys. <laughs> yeah. Guys like younger girls. Usually girls like guys yeah. with more experience, right. more money, 100%. higher body count, all that fun and stuff. Are you, are you, are you, you, are you intend on ever getting married? Is that a, in the future for you? Do you intend on ever getting married or, or having children? Have you been married before? No. I was engaged twice when I was like 20 to 25. Okay. Mm. Did, you, did you start checking IDs after that guy lied about his age? Yeah, I'm going to start. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. Okay. So let's go down the list here. Tony. Um, you said that you would date a guy 10 years older, all right? It depends on the soul, the connection. That's the only thing it depends on. 
The, it's the not connection a connection in the soul, not yeah. the money, not the looks, no. not not what he's got going on, just not his status, not his network, just Absolutely. The vibe. that he reads poetry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and why is that? Sense of humor. <laughs> sense of humor. Um, I mean, is it ideal? I think I agree with um, the two to three year age gap, age gap because that's like average for United States. But I think, yeah, it just depends on the person, depends on the connection. Mm -hmm. I'm searching for the soul. How about you, Maya? Um, would I date somebody? You said you would date some guy 10 years older. Why is that? Typically, I just connect better with people who are older than me. I've never got along really with people that are close to my That's age. That's why Rolo's such a fan. Mm. <laughs> Kiyosaki um, to too. me, <laughs> 31, is, 31 is definitely not old. How old? 31. So 10 years older than me would be yeah. 31. What about 41? Yeah. That's not old. I'm 31. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> what about 41? <laughs> Iffy. Iffy. <laughs> so if you met a guy like Michael... Or even Sterling. They, they like know my girlfriend. Like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said a guy. And, that's why I said a guy like Michael. Yes. Would you be interested in a forty-six-year-old? I'm. I'm not gonna disclose. Pushing. That. <laughs> okay, Amy. You said you had no problem doing something like this. Yeah. No. I think that uh, men and women, like they said, reach their peak in different times. Like women's uh, peak and her prime is, you know, during the 18 to probably like mid 20s mark. That's when she's the most fertile, the most young, the most beautiful. And for men, when they come into their peak is typically, you know, late 20s, 30s, even beyond that. Like you can have a man who just reaches his peak in his 40s, who outshines what a woman was able to do in her early 20s. So I, I think that it makes a lot of sense for a, maybe not 18, because to be honest, when I was 18, when I was looking at like 30, 40 year old men, I'm like, they seem a bit old. But when you get into like those early 20s, um, I think that if you meet the right person, that's going to be the absolute best chance of long-term compatibility. You're both in the same stage of life. So okay. sugar daddies are in what your future. What about you, Nika? Huh? <laughs> sugar what? daddies are in yeah. your future. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> sugar, daddies. sugar daddies. Nika, how about you? What, do, what are you looking for? You said you would date a guy 10 years older. How yeah, much older would course. you go? of course. How much older yeah. would I go? Um, I dated someone. You said you're 25? Like, yeah, I'm 25. Okay. Would so you I go dated, 45? Yeah, I dated someone 45 years All old. All right. Yeah. How'd that go? Um, it went bad. <laughs> <laughs> Michael! Oh, it went bad. Why did it go bad? Why did it go bad? He didn't have the energy. It's kind of like times when I wanted to go out, he wanted to yeah, leave. He needs to Amen. Okay. So, 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 hey, yeah. you were bringing this up, and yeah. the reason why I think that 38 number, which I think is an accurate number, is going to change is because of peptides and testosterone and things like that, where there's no corollary for women. There, there's nothing that can, that can do quite the same. I mean, you can attempt it with plastic surgery, but it's not quite the same. Whereas men, like, I can literally get my, TR, my testosterone levels to exactly what they were when I was 19. Yeah. Giving women testosterone obviously has an opposite effect. So I think what will happen is the energy thing that you're talking about now, like I, I, most of my friends who are 46 that I went to high school with have put on massive amounts of weight and they don't want to go out all night. Like I'm going to go on stage with Tiesto in two nights. Like that's, uh, uh, there's no doubt whatsoever. I'm, there's no, I'm not going out tonight because I'm tired. That doesn't happen for me. So, this guy's on stage yeah. with all the DJs every single weekend. That's not, that's okay. like, that's not a one off thing. Right, but, for you. but at 46 though, like so that's the thing. I, I don't feel like I've slowed down at all. But I think that, but yeah. obviously there's reasons why you could do that. And I don't, uh, what I'm saying is there's no corollary for women. Okay. How, what's the age difference between you and your boyfriend? You said you guys live together? Yeah. Yes, we do. We, it's two years. Two years. Two well, years. you said you would date a guy 10 years older. I would, but I'm not. Okay. I'm dating a guy that a, has a two year age gap. And, and how old are you? I'm 31. Okay. Yes. And wh where's the, how long have you guys been together? Four months. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this is new. It's new, but... I see myself marrying him for several reasons. It's the mindset, it's the stability, it's his potential. I love how he's such a businessman, owns multiple businesses, and I love his family values as well. Um, I think that's very, very important. I don't just see a guy with money and status and then be like, oh, he's mine. Like, I need to see how a guy operates with people, like how he respects people. You know, there's a lot of things that go into why I would date a man. Okay. Yeah. You were about to say uh, that Patrick Dempsey was too old for you because you're 31 and... I mean, like, like that, that's like 30 years almost. You know what I mean? Well, so it's like almost 57. Wait, can you my mic on? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it's like almost 30 years, too, and it's like, that's, that's a little bit like, eh, because I think that's like around the, like, not too much longer. I think that's when the equipment will stop working with okay. our child dysfunction, and that's not really. So this, I, I like you, so don't be offended. K 
Can you really be that picky when, like, you've done stuff in your past that, you know, a yeah. guy would be like, nah. I'm a picky bitch. Okay, well. <laughs> and also, I've met guys who are yeah. really young who have ED. That shit can strike when you least expect it for anyone. That's because they're so faffing too much. There's too right. much porn. Is that the, the reason the, why? They're jerking off the porn too much. Too is that much, what it too is? Too much porn. Yeah. If, yeah. They're getting, if they're getting ED at that age, yes. they're jerking off the porn too much. It's, it's also oh. the, the desensitizing your, your, your weebie. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So, last question for the panel, move on. Ladies, um, when I say the word, uh, pull, up, pull up your thing, even though Jasmine broke it, red, red, or, red or green. Still works. <laughs> so, yes is green, no is red. You're attracted to silver foxes. Go ahead. What's the silver fox? Silver fox, gray hair guy, you know, they got a little salt and pepper. Salt vibe. and pepper, there you salt go. Salt and pepper. Oh, is anyone else confused you know? here? What? Yeah, she's done it again. She's now attracted to silver foxes. So, <laughs> what in the blue fuck is going so on here? Oh, I don't understand. I mean, I mean, it goes both ways. You are an He's enigma, and I yeah. need to study okay. this. Now, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> we need to make our social experiment. All right. huh? social so, experiment. most of you guys are attracted to silver foxes, although the Jasmine is just so completely confused. She do not know what's going on right there. So, we'll end this one. I think one of the, right one of the just before we quit, real quickly, yeah. um, I think when uh, people talk about, like, say, uh, an age difference between, like, uh, Mike and, and Kylie, um, I think one of the the criticisms is with like, well, what will you talk about? Like, there's a generational like SEC gap between, football. Like, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, what, Michael's gonna find like, some. How shit can to you talk have a, how can you have Animal an rescue. intellectual conversation with a girl who's like, you know, half, half your, your age, age or something like that? I don't understand and that it's either. like, no. Well, that's Very the thing easily. is. Well, I, what he reminded me of this is like he's he's fifty or he's forty six. Six. You're thirty six. Thirty six and fifty five. So soon to be fifty six. There's t like we work together. We've known each other for God knows how long. Yeah. I, I don't like when I'm working with him. I don't twenty say, year age difference. You're not see, like what am I going to talk exactly this about? Or, or, or Mike for that matter. It's like <laughs> yeah. I just know that I like Mike. We hang out. We do stuff together. And, yeah. we, and we build brands together. And we do what we do what we do. I don't think of things in terms. And maybe this is just something that's new yeah. now because of like maybe social media and and, and being in the internet Great age, point. but I don't think in terms of like, oh, I can't relate to that person because she's 21 years old or yeah, he's, I don't he's at all. 46 yeah. or something like that. And I think that's kind of like, uh, it used to be something where like if a woman saw a guy who was much older and the woman was much younger, that was the fir first place her, her mind would go was like, what are they going to talk about? Great There's a generational point, difference. That's like, that is faded yeah. away. Michael, what the age. hell do you and Kylie talk about? Yeah, bro? she's a, she's a razor back and I'm a long horn. Like we talk about SEC football and we talk shit to each other. Yeah. Uh, shit, she knows everything she, she wants to know about the Air skin. Force. Huh? <laughs> uh, we're, we're, uh, we're big. We're, we're both big in animal rescue uh, yeah. also. And I mean, there's just a bunch of stuff. Like the thing is I've been in involved uh, more or less in the modeling industry, you know, with modeling agencies for the last 10 years and she's a model. So there's like, there's, and uh, again, our relationship is not uh, the one you would normally see where I yeah. have actually more in common with, you know, the stuff she wants to talk about than most guys yeah. who are 46 years old. And knows more Eddie. about, knows yeah. more about Casey 135s than any other woman on planet Earth. <laughs> well, you know what, I'll, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. Uh, we watched, we watched Rise of Our Dogs the other day, right? So this is a great, great movie, but, but it's but, but hold on, but it's a great movie that most of you probably haven't seen, right? You guys have never seen Correct. Rise of Our Dogs. So you have, she has seen it. Yes. Well, the point Absolutely. is she watched it and at the end of the movie when uh, Harvey Keitel ends up killing Tim Roth, at the very end, she looks at me and she goes, that was awesome. And me being the first person to, to let her yeah. see Reservoir Dogs and then go through the entire uh, Quentin Tarantino collection, that's great for me. I enjoy that. I'm going to be the first man to take her to Paris. I'm going to be the first man uh, to, to take her to uh, to London. So that, that's what I'm excited about doing. So I, I don't. I completely disagree with this concept of yeah. uh, we have nothing to talk about because of the age difference. Can yeah. we? Respect. Hold on, guys. We're going to move on to the next topic here. So. I was going to say, Adam, I'm going to elaborate on that really quickly. Like, whenever yeah. I've been on dates with women who are much, much younger than me, so like 18, 19, 20, whatever, <laughs> One of the first things they'll say to me is, I like hanging out with you because you can actually talk about things. You're worldly. You have things to talk about and teach yeah. me about, like Michael just said. And they'll say, guys my age can't hold a conversation. That's correct. It's the first thing they'll say. done anything. Maya, you're they in real estate, anything. right? In real estate? Yeah. I'm not in real estate, but I read about real estate investing. Yeah, you, you already real, read about real estate investing. Again, I've that been is in a house a before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a reason we selected you for the Kiyosaki show mm -hmm. because yeah. you had already read uh, I'm reading another one of his books right yeah, now. Yeah, I read, read quite books. a bit of his books. Nice. Yeah, so Kylie and I read books together also. That's yeah. all we always recommend there, a book. There, and now this will be the last point. There is, for a guy, like a sense of pride, whatever word you want to put in. When Friend. you're teaching a girl, like when Aladdin showed her the world, yeah. it's like, I told this story all the time. I took a girl to Aspen, and she's like, yeah, the last time I was here, it was like we stayed at a nicer place. I'm like, we're in Aspen, bitch. Yeah. Like you're complaining yeah. about where we're staying, and we're staying in a mansion. 
Okay, mm. I was like, yeah. And then meanwhile, the next girl, she's like, oh my God, if you ever take me to Aspen to Paris of the time of my life, there is a deeper sense of appreciation for mm-hmm. a girl for her first time you've ever done it. We had a girl three, um, three months ago that came on a show. She's like, yeah, I'm working on my third passport. And I like this girl. I'm like, no dude's going to be impressed that you've been all over the world so much mm. that you're working on your third passport. No bueno. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.